all right friends this is gonna be a little bit of a different video i wanted to make an opr video but i'm gonna break it down in a little bit more detail as to like why i'm making the decisions i am where i'm going there's two reasons for this one being that um we're doing more wars now and so i just want to keep getting practice in and opr is like a good place to do it um like getting those bombs off but the other thing is that i feel like bruiser is actually quite hard um, in terms of, you know, it's one of the unique roles that you literally go right into the clump in a fight. You're surrounded by people. And so there's a lot of things to think about in terms of, like, positioning and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I hope to, by breaking it down a little bit further, just kind of show you what I'm thinking at the time, the kind of thoughts that I'm thinking. And um, I'm not saying that I'm any expert at all. There's people that are better than me out there. So, But hopefully you can learn something from it. And, um, yeah. I am playing with my teammate Leo, who's healing, so I'll leave comms open, I'm not going to talk over the whole thing, and um, what else is there, nothing else. Oh yeah, I will fast forward over bits, um, when we're just like running like this bit, I will fast forward, I just wanted to have a little bit of an intro next to you, you have to watch me run down the hill. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so they've got in control of mid right now. And so basically what I'm thinking is I've got to try to get in, but I just don't want to rush in by myself because I'm the only one at the door at the moment. And I also just don't want to get ice storm. So I'm just trying to kind of like find that moment of opportunity where I can push it. Yeah, I'll just put heels on the door for now. Ah, fuck. Let me know when it's back up. Uh, yeah, it's back now. Okay, I'm going to go on the door right here, right here. Now. That's on it. So we had, I'll just play that again. So we have a bit of a miscommunication error. Um, I go running in and then Leo drops the heels on the door, but that's not where I wanted it. And then I drop the gravity well, but then we've kind of, I have to get back out um, because I was about to run into the gravity well and the heels went on me. So I back out and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go in for a charge again. But unfortunately this time it's minus the gravity well. So I try to get them in a stun. They stun me. So there goes that Leo's dropping the heels on me, then I get them in a stun, and then I do my Maelstrom, but it's just not enough to kill anyone. Now I'm below 50% health, so I just get back out. I can see a teammate in there, and so I try to get and just get some light attacks off on them. Again. But my health just gets really low. Leo puts his sacred on me, but um, I have to really get out and I right survive. I Luckily I survived I there. So I just wait for my health to get up a little bit before I go back in, and then I can see some of my, finally some of my bruiser teammates um, are coming in. And I see these guys over here, and this is where all our teammates are running, so it's obviously we're going to try to clump, blow them up, so that's where I go. I get a stun off on them, but I don't have anything else left to hit them, so it's basically light attacks for me, so I'm just sort of hoping those other guys that ran in would be getting some of their big maelstroms and shit off on them, which seems to be working because they're going down quite quickly. On the door? Yep, sacred on Alright, alright, so now that we've cleaned up and gained mid, um, we push down to star. So I kind of do something really stupid here and I push in okay, before everyone else has yeah. arrived. Okay. Um, yeah. I do get some heals, but then I just take a whole bunch of burst damage and get burst down really quickly. Okay, here we go. So we come back to Sun to defend it well, and then yeah. some of their guys push in. Okay, one of them's a healer. So we've got basically one healer here and one okay, DPS on each side. So we've already yeah, capped it. So at that stage I was just trying to stay alive. Um, but then we get overwhelmed by the numbers, yeah. so I tell them to jump out, but the, um, Leos goes down, he's the healer. So now I'm going to be playing more carefully and just playing for life, really, and not really doing anything stupid. Tried to get a Maelstrom off that guy, but he was already dead. Chucking in a Path of Destiny just to sort of stagger them out a little bit. Okay, so I can see here that my teammates have pushed in. I've got to bear in mind that I don't have Leos with me, but... 
I can push them through the front door because I can see that there's some healers and people outside. So the advantage of fighting on the front door is if they come to fight me, they're going to be getting pinged by every ranged player outside that's standing outside. So I try to bait them into fighting me there, and then I just hope there's some heals in there. Pings. So we managed to wipe some over the front door. Now these guys are cornered into the little position and our whole team's charging at them. All I have is a Maelstrom left. I don't have my grab vault, so I can't do any big bombs, but I pull off the Maelstrom and then I managed to get two people basically within like one light attack from being killed. So that one guy gets hit by a bow and then uh, yeah, it's just part of destiny and them out through the door. So we managed to get a hold of Sun. So we've still got, um, so we push out of mid basically and then there's a whole bunch of them outside and I see this little clump here so I go in and try to do a big bomb but everyone else does so um, I don't yeah, get yeah, a lot of my attacks up but I do land a stun. Alright, so this OPR looks like we're on top right now, um, and uh, things kind of do change though a little bit, but at the moment we're kind of dominating, so we push into Star, uh, and there's no one really here, so we basically just bully the people that are already in here out of Star, and then um, cap it. So once we cap Star, they've all started to push outside, so I basically leap off. I can see that Sun's starting to get capped, so I know we need to get there. But then I get into this fight with this one guy here that I just want to finish off. But then their teammates start to come down. These guys are sitting on heels, but so are we, so I figure I'll just finish these guys off. We don't actually end up going to Sun because someone caps it back. So And then it just ends up turning into a bit of a farm at this point. We just chase them up the hill. And I hate farming other teams. Like, it's no fun for them. It's no fun for us. So, um, once they reach about halfway up the hill, I just come back down and we chill. So I'm just kind of happy to let these guys uh, cap it. Because I thought, let them get a bit of a foothold. But then, yeah, it's trying to be nice. And then they all just jump on me. All three of them, so they're not well four at this point. So I'm like, well, fuck you then. Let's have a fight. Um, wasn't quite prepared for the big fight. Leah drops down the sacred. I'm trying to get them into a stump combo, but they jump on him. So I've got to try to. I'm trying to. They keep stunning me, and that's not letting yeah, me yeah. stun them off him. And so we end up getting wiped there pretty quickly. So then it's like, okay, Mr. Nice Guy's over. So we come back and they must have like wiped our guys as they were pushing and then got massive momentum because now they're pushing some. And so now it becomes a matter of us trying to get some back. And so here I'm going to use the same tactic as I was saying before. I'm going to just push myself into the door. I'm going to stand in our heels because all our heels will easily be able to give me heals. And they'll all come stand on the door. And then they'll be getting pinged from every range person outside from us so we can get some good wipes. Okay, right and on once here, that's friend. happened, we can push in a bit yep. more. They're going down in here. The door will turn you right now. Hey, you were there. Yeah. Uh, mm. So funny, you were there. Okay, yes, ready I'm and go, friend. Yeah, it's down. So as you can see, I'm pushing in for as long as I can. Yeah. And then... Um, and then doing some damage to them, trying to kill who I can, and then I'll push out when my um, health gets low. So I chucked down a nice gravity well here, but they managed to stun me. And then I managed to get them in a stun, but it's a little bit delayed with, between my stun and my maelstrom and my gravity well. But yeah, I'm just dipping in and out, trying to get some attacks on them, holding them at the door, but we just can't seem to wipe them. There's a lot of heals in there. If I try to push it any deeper to get the healers, like, I ain't coming out alive, so... We're kind of a little bit caught in the stalemate at the moment. Um, just trying to get my combos off when I can. I could actually be doing better timing it. 
I'm, I'm, I'm doing like bad. Like I should be trying to do the combos where you know you do the Maelstrom shockwave. Uh, sorry, the gravity well shockwave then Maelstrom. But um, you know I get I get a little bit carried away. But I'm just ducking in and out, trying to stay alive. So every time my health gets low, usually around under 50%, I'll just back out. But just trying to put the pressure on them. I mean, this is stopping them from coming out as much as um. It is them coming in, but then they all start to drop off and push so out. Two, two so I back up here a little bit, but then I get caught alone because they've wiped out everyone else, and then I end up getting killed. So now we're on the ropes, and they've captured. They're now pushing our last base, so our steamroll is now turned into a steamroll from their end. So I see this bird clump in the middle, which is just begging for a. Uh, big and i've got all my um cds up to do my burst but i just totally wreck it like there yeah, i chuck on the maelstrom so now they're caught in the maelstrom i rush in and then i do the mel uh maelstrom so i do the gravity well then i do the maelstrom then after i've done that i do the blimmin shock wave which is kind of like the most stupid way of doing it i should have done the shock wave instead but i'm in a lot of heals at the moment and they're taking a lot of damage so i just continue fighting in here you're kind of in there alone. Yeah, I know. Take it down again. Take it down again. I'm dead. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. So we definitely got some excellent wipes on that one. So I just needed to come back and get my health back up. And um, they're still quite heavily grouped because they've got that blimmin' respawn okay, point. So that's what I need to get. So I come back in and try to fight on the door. Yeah. I'm trying to capture yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. Really I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting my heals. And um, just trying to fight these guys on the door. And just see if we can kind of push them back a little bit. But yeah, really what we need to no, do no, no, no. is get that... Um, Respawn point. Oh, there is no respawn point. That's good. But we just need to um, I swear I can see a respawn point But we just need to back them up so I get a good maelstrom on these guys. I pop my ulti. I can't reach him in time But it's okay because he's running away anyway So yeah, we pretty much just clean up this area Okay, so it's time to do a bit of a pushback, so we start pushing down the hill, and I see this little group here, so okay, I go to here, attack them. Here. I don't have any of my big CDs up, so um, I'm pretty much just light attacking and um, getting some attacks off, but I'm acting as a good cork in the flow right now. I'm stopping them from pushing up the hill, so it's kind of worth it. And I'm getting really, really good heals, so I'm not getting damaged. So here, I'm going to try to throw my Maelstrom up. And then, not my, oh, why do I keep saying that? My Maelstrom, my Gravity Well. And then I do my Maelstrom, but unfortunately I get stunned. And I keep forgetting to do that Sundering Shockwave. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, really in the washing machine right now. So I'm taking on quite a few, but my heals are quite good. But I can see that my health is coming down. So I've really got to get out of here. I'm going to die. So I use my charge and sort of pull back a little bit. Yeah, so I can see back, why now. Because there's the guys in the back were pushing our back lines. And I didn't know that. So I try to clean them up and get them, push them away, and then we can maybe focus focus on this more clumpier group. So I'm out of CDs again. Got my shockwave off, but really I'm just trying to get away. But I can see that I finally get a sacred down, so I figured I'll stand in it and try to get my health back. But I'm getting really isolated from my group right now, and so I can't get back to them. I end up getting killed. Alright, so I come back out and they are pushing hard towards our base. Oh, how the tables have turned. Should never have let those guys try to cap. And so now it's just pushing in. Uh, I'm not really using my big burst combos and sequence. I'm just, just going ham on everyone I meet. But it's doing its job. I'm definitely pushing them back and I'm putting a lot of damage into them with just my light attack. So at this point, I'm not really necessarily trying to get kills. I'm just trying to steamroll through them. Although I'm doing a pretty good job of getting damage in. Um, and honestly, I feel like the Breezer does the upfront damage, and then when they get within like light attack range, a bow or a mage will pick them up anyway, so it's no biggie. Um, so then we just come up to the door, and then we knock it down. You're dead. You're 
dead? Oh, what? Sniper? Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, so right here, even though we've taken control of mid, you can start to see that their whole team is starting to push in through the gates right there. And so now there's a big chance that we're going to get wiped. So I'm hoping that they're going to trickle in. So I make sure that I stand on the sacreds where I'm getting the heals and then they come up to me and then I can be getting healed and hopefully wipe them. Again, I'm not using any of my big combos. I keep using them when they come up for CD, which is just really bad. Um, but it's okay because we're getting the kills. And so we managed to kind of kill them off as they come in one by one into mid and uh, gain control. Now obviously this guy's got a healer somewhere, but he's never going to survive that many people on him for long, so... I and mean, it's just a matter of killing off yeah, Blue the Bear. I'm back. Okay, I'm just pushing out. I don't know. I'm always a little bit tentative about being the first person to push out through these pillars here. Simply because as soon as you push out, you're going to be getting hit by every mage, every bow, and every musket. And so you've got to be kind of quite careful. So this is why you see that me kind of pushing behind the pillar here. Yeah, I think so. And see, you can see that classic example there. I tried to catch them in my... Um, God, I was going to say it again. Gravity well. But then I realized I was starting to take every hit from the range, so I pulled yeah, right, back. Yeah. So I'm just hey, trying to find a clump where I can get them. Unfortunately, I've used all my big CDs. Um, but I've got nice heals, so I'm just going to keep light attacking and uh, try to finish these guys off. <sighs> Once again, though, and this is one of the complexities of the Bruiser, right? Like, I'm pushing the front forward and doing good damage. But then some guys get in behind and start attacking our guys and start pushing them back and then I become overextended and I don't realize it because I'm so focused yeah, on playing these guys. guys and so I sort of look back and realize oh my god there's like all these reds in between me and the blues so I try to get back to them but I just get caught out on my way back and get killed. So the score could not be any closer right now and as I make it back into Sun, their team's all pushing back into Sun, so it's defense time again. So this is a really good place to be defending right now, because they're pushing through that door, and so if I can chuck a Gravwell on that door and get them blocked in, um, then I can A, get a big wipe, but also just keep them from even getting into the node, and they're just going to get, like, destroyed. So that was sort of my goal. So I chuck down Path of Destiny, I get in there, I throw my Gravity Well onto that clump, so that was good. I get in there and I can see they're low, so I do a Maelstrom and I get a kill with the Maelstrom. And I killed someone with the Path of Destiny and then as the Gravity Well goes off it also kills someone. And then I get that guy really hit with my uh, Shockwave and then we kill this guy off. So we basically just wipe that group really quickly so that's the advantage of doing it when people are like pushed into one little spot like that as they come through the door. So we actually end up sniping Baron, which is just really good because the score is so close. And then I sort of say to my teammate, if we can just wipe everyone here as they try to get out, um, then we'll be in a good place to win the OPR. Okay, I'm going to fight these guys. A nice wipe here would be quite good, friend. Yeah. Trying to keep the kills on you. Sacred on you. Nah, we're good now. This guy. Oh, apart from these fools. Alright, so as I come back up the road, I see a nice little group here and I finally get my combo right. Gravity well. Shockwave. Maelstrom. We just wiped their group. So now they've got two nodes, but we're uh, capturing some back. So it actually looks like a lot of people out there, um, but as soon as we push out, they just tend to like, I don't know, melt away or something. Uh, manage to get this guy and a bunch of stuns and a gravity well, and then he ends up getting killed. And then all their range just seem to disappear behind the pillars. And so that all those people that we saw before like, magically disappeared. But again, got to be really careful as I push down here, because I don't want to be the guy taking all that ranged fire, especially if I don't have anything to stand in. 
Um, so better off just finishing that guy off, because in that situation, just stay with your team and kill someone off is still a win. So here I stupidly just charge right out of the pillars and into a group, and you can see here, it's me, I don't have any heals on me, there's like one, two, three, about four or five ranged people, and about three or four melee, this was a really dumb move for me to do, so I've really put myself at risk of dying here. What I should have done is waited for my teammates to come out and push with them, but yeah, I guess I just wanted Take the glory, it was a bit stupid. Really, really, really dumb move. Yeah, I'm definitely in God, but I do a little bit of a path of destiny to try to get them to back up, but then I try to come and fight this guy right here, but again, I've got no heals on me, I'm not fighting any heals, I've got no teammates, and I've got all those range just down the hill that are going to start firing at me. But I finally get a sacred, so then I'm trying to kill these guys in it. I'm just madly kind of attacking here. Um, I get a shockwave off, do a maelstrom, but unfortunately I already used up my gravity well. I see that our teammates are starting to drop, so I just back up a little bit. Just to sort of re see kind of what's happening with the battlefield. I get that guy in a gravity well, but yeah, now it's too late. We've got to push back, so um, I end up pushing back. So I managed to get away, and now it's just trying to find a weakness in their armor, really. Um, a place to sort of stop them, to stop them from pushing in. I managed to come up the side a little bit, but you've got a lot of people on me, so I pushed back here. Okay, so you can see a whole bunch of them pushing out through those two pillars over there. And again, that's a really good bottleneck to try to capture them in. I don't have any CCs up, I just have my grab well, but that will bunch them up at least. And then I can just hope some of my teammates come in and lay down some extra damage. So I push in like a champ, get them in a gravity well, get into the heal, get them in a stun, go for my maelstrom, but then we win, so. That was a close game. Good game, though. And, uh, yeah, we got 13 kills, and I was uh, fourth in our team, so not too bad. Usually I'm a little higher than that, but I thought this was a really close OPR, so. And this was my first attempt at trying to kind of break down a little bit more about my thinking. I'm sure I'll improve my skills over time, but let me know what you think. Okay, friends, I'm going to quickly go through the build. This isn't like a comprehensive build guide. It's just to quickly show you what it is. At the moment, I'm running Detonate. Um, I actually don't like it. I think I'm going to go for Stone Form instead. It's like sometimes quite hard to land it. I'll practice it a little bit more. This is what I was using, but I'm thinking of going to um, Stone Form. Okay, I'm using this axe, it has great insatiable gravity well on it because it's a trait I wanted. There's some traits that I wanted on my gear, which is why I've chosen to go for it on the axe. And it's got abyssal attunement and thwarting strikes, the other two most important ones. And then with the warhammer, I've got sundering shockwave, a boil attunement, and enchanted. So that's the warhammer and the great axe. And they've both got the punishing gambit, so it increases the melee attacks um, damage and more damage when my stomach's not full, which it really is. Um, I'm wearing medium armor. I've got, it'll be 300 strength, 200 constitution, just the usual kind of bruiser setup. And so, the three traits I'm going for are resilience, of course, shaking fortification, actually four traits. Resilience, shaking fortification, refreshing ward, and freedom. So, on my medium piece, I've got shaking fort, critical retribution, and resilience. On my chest piece, I've got shaking fort, refreshing ward, and resilience. On my medium gloves, I've got Shaken Fort, Refreshing Ward, and Freedom. On my legs, I've got Freedom, Refreshing Ward, and Resilience. And on my feet, I've got Freedom, Shaken Fortification, and Resilience. On my amulet, I'm using Divine Slash Protection and Health. On my ring, I'm using Refreshing Ward, Invigorated Punishment, and Slash Damage. And on my earring, I'm using Regenerating, Refreshing Toast, and Refreshing Ward. And that is, um, and I'm using these as the consumables. Um, and then I guess everyone's going to want to know, this is just down because I haven't eaten the food um, in terms of the great axe set up at the moment, this is what I'm using you can just snapshot that and do it yourself, I don't want to go through the whole thing and for the Warhammer, uh, this is the setup um, I was doing arenas the other night though on the great axe and I switched into this because yeah the setup isn't that good for arenas anyway, um, thanks everyone and yeah I'll, 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 I'll hope, let me know what you think of the video um, yeah, and uh, yeah, see you later.